Y'all are in here so fast. <laughs> Hi. I think my ads still need to go, but I'll also BRB because I need to go pee. All right, I took a little longer than usual. I got distracted. Hi. Um, this is still the old one at Beetle. I haven't tested the new one on the other uh, expressions yet, so I didn't want to like use it yet, you know. Because if it's anything less than you know perfect and something we both agree on, then it could be like, oh no, I'm showing the bad things about. My lovely stepdads. The dad that stepped up's rigging. No, it's okay. It's on me. You did say it. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. We both forgot. <laughs> Watch the mouth bounce around the screen. <laughs> okay, but that might be funny. That might be good. Where did I go? Sorry, I like, I'm opening all my shit and I was on VTube Studio until just now. Where did I go? <laughs> Where did I go? 
Um. <laughs> hmm. I love that every time you use the full title. Your stepdad, the dad that stepped up. <laughs> I have to. I gotta use the full title, you know? Oh, cool, cool. Um. Alright. Alright. I... I don't know where my model is. We're gonna find out what happens when I switch over. I'll either be there or I won't. I guess there's no in between. Um, do I have everything up? Yeah, I can put this to the tray. You stole it back. <laughs> you just yoinked it. Uh, I don't need... Wait, no, I'm just gone. Because even... I don't... Tit doesn't even know where I am. <laughs> you brought me into this world. You could take me out. No, but literally... Where did I go? <laughs> There I am. Where did you go, me? You went on like a quest. Okay, let's switch over. Let's switch over for reals, not for fakes. Uh, we'll go over to just chatting. And I won't hit play date like I did yesterday. And I'll move Harvey to the right place. So that way, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Harvey, I feel like you get lost more than I do. You can't hear him. Thank you for letting me know. I every time I open up um, a BTS Pog, I swear it goes somewhere else. Um. Okay, hold on. I have my wavelength open. So why aren't you coming through, buddy? Why aren't you coming through? Uh, let me move him somewhere else. Is anything using Ox One right now? I don't know. It's gonna be him. It's gonna be... Harvey. Okay. <laughs> Did that work? Could you hear him then? No? Wavelink. Do I have to... Do I have to take you out? Let me make sure. Hold on. Okay, that all looks good. Um, I feel like ever since I got this new mic and I started using this new software, it's just been problem after problem. But this new software is really nice when it works for me. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's try now. Could you hear that? Also, my stream froze on my end. Hey, chill out. Did you hear his pog online poggers? You did not hear that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Harvey, where are you? Where are you, Harvey? Harvey, really do be silenced, huh? Okay, hold on. Let me see on my end if it comes up on the wavelength. You're starting a petition? Oh, no. I'm going to jail, Harvey. It's all your fault. Okay. Ox one comes through. Um. Hmm. What else can I tell? <laughs> Free Harvey. Get it trending. <laughs> um. All right. Just to double check. Can you hear the sound effect? Yes. Okay. I forgot how that's coming in. <laughs> I forgot how that's coming in. Hold on. Um, I think it's just do OBS. Because of sound alerts. Um, yeah, that's just coming through sound alerts. So... If I go to... Where is Harvey? No, Harvey. I can't pick Harvey. Okay, hold on. Uh, desktop sound? the system yeah do i need to pull in like the ox uh let us try should be an output wait harvey has one harvey where's your output 
Harvey, where's your output? I've gone through this. Harvey, where are you? Oh god, okay, um... Add existing, Harvey. This is coming through two, okay. Let me switch you back to two, right? Switch you back. And then... Let's try again. Let's try again. How's this feel? POG Online Poggers. Did he come through? I've been silenced for too long. <laughs> Where's Splitsville? <laughs> I found it. I found it. For some reason, I had to manually pull in his output. And I did this before, but I don't know what screen I did it on. It wasn't on my just chatting screen. Uh, I guess we just haven't had to deal with it, but he's here. He's... I don't, are, are, you, are you queer, Harvey? I don't know. Uh, he's here. I'm queer and he can be heard. <laughs> I'm so happy. Why did I just move? Hold on. There's like, I have so many things over here. I'm Harvey Smiley Face. <laughs> he's here and supports queer. That's it. That's the one. Oh man. How are you all doing today? I'm moving things around just a little bit. Um... How are you all doing? How's it going? Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. Um, you're folding laundry. Keep you company. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so first of all, first of all, Beetle sucks. No, I'm kidding. I love you, Beetle. You just finished work. You're EP. You should take a nappy. Like, I love that you're here. But you should take a nappy if you're sleepy. If you're EP. Well... Actually, it's kind of late. I don't know what time zone you're in, but it's kind of late. Maybe you shouldn't take a nap. That might be too late. <laughs> you're going to sleep on Beetle's folded laundry? I bet that's great. <laughs> Unfollow, unsubscribe, uncommenting, unring that bell. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. For once, I'm in the wrong category on just chatting. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's stay with just chatting. That's our category right now. Puts all the unfolded. No, on top of the folded laundry. You know, you don't get it. You don't get it. <laughs> <sighs> so, the first thing on our agenda is there's a there's a global strike called for next week. Um for Palestine. So if you can Please consider striking. It takes up the whole week <laughs> from Sunday to I I think Saturday's the 28th. I don't actually know. Nope. From Sunday to Sunday, the 21st to the 28th. Consider checking it out. Consider striking if you can. Um, I'll do what I can. I really can't afford to take all the time off. Uh, I'll probably take some time off and try and do as much food shopping beforehand um but yeah try your best i'm trying to figure out if i'm gonna stream next week or not uh i don't know a strike says i shouldn't but i could also signal boost palestine i don't know it, uh it's next week it starts sunday and it goes to the following sunday and also, stare. I understand. I get it. You've opened up my third eye. Folded laundry, sleepy moto, unfolded laundry. That actually does sound quite comfy. I find that every time they um they call a strike, they call it really short notice. But I, I guess that's the point. <laughs> I guess the point is to call it short notice because you're disrupting. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just... It's a little difficult. <laughs> it's a little difficult. Um, yeah, just just a little bit. Just a little bit of prep. But it's okay. It's okay. We can work with it. Um, so if I don't stream next week, don't forget about me. I know I won't be right in your face like when you uh, open the fridge and you put your... Uh, 
you put your your vegetables like on the side instead of in the little crisper so that way you can eat them literally the biggest brain thing that ronnie ever said to me <laughs> um but yeah don't don't forget about me don't let me be your your uh your vegetables in the crisper my problem is i get so many vegetables that i have to use my crisper like because i'm at the point that i get i get vegetables we get them like every week now uh we were doing every other week but we get them every week because we're not shopping right now um other than you know shopping through apps and i don't it's already hard enough to find vegetables myself so i really don't want to put that on my delivery person to find me vegetables that i don't that i'm gonna eat uh you don't have one what's a crisper yeah it's the drawer in your fridge when you open the fridge uh most fridges have this there's like a little a little box at the bottom uh, and that's usually where people put their veggies and fruits Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't why is it called a crisper? Is it because it keeps your stuff crispy? Um a compartment at the bottom of a refrigerator for storing fruits and vegetables. It's literally just called a crisper. Okay. Um also if you look up crisper on Google, Google will think you're looking up crisper without an E. Which is apparently some sort of a gene editing. Is this the gene? Is CRISPR the gene editing that's helping with um uh 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 one of the cancers? One of the cancers they took out recently. It was a lot uh uh but the bone, the one that's in the bone. Uh <laughs> that's as, that's as far as I got. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think it's <laughs> I don't think it's bone cancer. Um, it's a cancer that's very um, you know how like some people can get like more types of cancer than others. It's a cancer that's very pre uh, pre uh, prevalent 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 in um in like African Americans. Uh, shit. Uh, uh, cancer CRISPR treatment. <laughs> Help me, Google. You're my only hope. Help me, Google. Uh... Yeah, it's a very particular genetic disease. I don't think that's it, Stare. I don't know, though, because it may have, like, another complicated name. But I remembered seeing it be a name that I could pronounce very easily and recognized as, like, oh, that cancer. Uh... Shit, um, I, I'll never know. I'll never know. <laughs> um, fuck, I just dropped my mouse. Hold on. You gotta go to your Japanese lesson. Good luck with your search for cancer. Thank you. Good luck with your Japanese lesson. Uh, Gambate. I took Duolingo for four years, guys. I don't remember anything. <laughs> That's why, I, okay, there are other reasons why I stopped using Duolingo, but <laughs> literally, it was four years straight. I didn't learn a thing. <laughs> oh, man. I'll eventually get back into it once. Um, I have to build my piano practicing habit again. And after I build that, then I'll try and build my Japanese learning habit again. You only learn, you only know Japanese from anime. <laughs> I mean, other than um Congrats on drop kicking that evil bird. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, Harvey. I tried really hard. Um I didn't. It was it's actually really hard to delete your stuff from Duolingo. Because you're like, hey, I want to delete my stuff from du my like information from Duolingo. It's like, OK, we'll send you an email. And through the email, you have to go to your account online and say, yes, I want to delete my data. And then 
We'll give you seven days just in case you don't want to delete your data. And then it'll take us up to 30 days to delete your data. <laughs> it's actually not allowed. Well, I don't know. Go sue the bird. But we should sue the bird. Yeah, boo. Boo. Oh, man. But yeah, so now I'm just trying to build up my uh, piano. Um, On my way to sue. <laughs> That's such a process. Yeah, it was a lot more in-depth than I thought it would be. And, you know, I thought I would just be able to go, like, delete the account. That's fine. But no, they still got your data. And then I knew if I kept the app on and I saw, like, the day that my streak went to zero, I just knew that I would, like, cease being a person. So I was like, no, I got to get this off my phone now. Like, don't send me anything, Duolingo. Don't tell me. Because it's like, when you spend years, years building up a habit, when you're a person that's really hard at building habits, like, do you know how hard, like, do you know how hard it is for me to lotion my body every day as a habit? I have extremely dry skin and the winter does not help. I go to bed itchy. You know how hard it is? <laughs> You've been trying to find a Twitter thread about the walkout, but you didn't save it. You're a fool. Wait, about... Oh! Oh, God, I'm still in... Hi! <laughs> yeah! Bye! <laughs> I didn't realize I was still in Discord. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, Belleth. <laughs> yeah, I was I was chatting with Belleth earlier. Belleth and Alex. No, I'm sorry. I forgot to jump out. That's so funny. <laughs> like literally, like Alex was like, "All right, I'm gonna leave the Discord." And I was like. Okay, bye. And then he came up and like chatted with me. And I was like, okay. I I forgot to leave. <laughs> That's so funny. I I don't know what it is. I can remember to turn off my stream, right? I can't remember to leave a Discord call. <laughs> and this doesn't just happen with streams. This also happens when like Say if I'm on, I, like, usually I go and chat with friends after stream and then, like, we hang out and then everyone leaves and then I go downstairs, but I'm still in Discord because I forgot to leave. <laughs> so, um, I just need an automated way <laughs> to leave Discord when I know I need to. Sasu laments about habits and immediately demonstrates having difficulty with the habit. <laughs> Well, it, it's not a habit. That, it's so hard for me to build habits. Like, I can list the habits that I do right now. It's not piano. I don't <laughs> I don't do piano uh, habitually yet. Um, I'm right now, I'm probably at like several days a week. I want to get to every day of the week, but <laughs> that's where we are. Um, I brush my teeth twice a day. That's a habit. Um, I take a shower every day. That's a habit. Uh, I take all of my pills. That's where the rest of all of my like habit functioning in my brain goes is the all of my pills for the day. <laughs> because I take a non-zero amount of pills, a, a, not, a, a significant amount of pills. <laughs> And it's all like supplements. It's nothing like wild, but it's just like because I have to remember to do them. <laughs> I don't remember anything else. You need an alert like Netflix where it pauses slash mutes you and goes, are you still there? Literally, literally, <laughs> I need like 
an automatic voice. I, this is what we need AI for. I need AI on Discord that specifically notices that I'm here in this Discord call with nothing else and goes, did you mean to leave? <laughs> so I can just go, yes, please. Yes, please. And if I say no, just doesn't bother me for the rest. Like, just doesn't bother me. But then I can see where that gets real bad real fast. Like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. <laughs> I'm sure there was a bot for it, but it's gone because of Discord bot limitations. Yeah, yeah, they really fucked over Discord bots, huh? Um. Oh, man. What other habits do I have? I don't even... Do you know how hard it is for me to wash my face? Like, I have several steps to washing my face. One is washing my face. <laughs> Two is putting on... What's before the toner? Is it the acid? Is it the acid and then the toner? I don't remember what it's called. But it got to the point where I was having trouble doing that. Um, uh, 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 like, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. It comes after the cleanser, but before the toner. <laughs> Yeah, so I use that on my face because I'm hoping that, I don't know, everyone's got different problems with their skin. I'm hoping that that solves some issues with my skin, mostly around, um, where do you put the ink cartridge? Uh, you know, that that's the rub of it, ain't it? <laughs> that, that's the problem, ain't it? Um, but literally, because, okay. Here's how the upstairs of my townhome is set up, right? On the right, we've got my office, which has a bathroom, right? And that's where I shower. But the important thing to note about this bathroom is that it doesn't really have a lot of counter space with the sink, right? And then across the hall, there is our bedroom, which also has a bathroom. That's where my fiance showers. Because a lot of the time we shower at the same time. Except not in the same shower. Because I take I take up all the water and I also make the water really hot. So um he refuses to save water with me, and that's okay. So <laughs> We usually shower around the same time in different bathrooms. So his bathroom, the bathroom in our bedroom, has more counter space. So that's where I leave my retainer because I have to wear a retainer for the rest of my life because I had adult braces. Even child braces, you got to wear retainers for the rest of your life, but it's whatever. Uh, and that's where I also keep all of um, the stuff I need to do to wash my face. But if you shower same time in different bathrooms, all the hot water will be shared. You're right. But it's very interesting. I don't know how the hot water works in this townhome because it's like in my previous apartment, if we both showered at the same time, I'm losing out on hot water and pressure. But it is not affected in this townhome. And I don't know what kind of magic they used but my hot water stays hot and the water pressure stays fine the only difference is um if he gets in the shower after me and turns on the shower thing like there's like a like a stutter because it's like turning on the other shower but then it goes back to normal yeah it's amazing i never want to leave um so like he usually gets in the shower before me because I, I hate the stutter. It scares me. I can't explain it, but it scares the hell out of me. I'm like, you got to go first, buddy. <laughs> um, 
But anyway, so what I used to do, because I also have to do, um, I do essential oil smells at the end of the night because I have some weird issue <laughs> with my nose that I really don't think is COVID related, but did like show up around the 2020 space. Um, and every so often I don't lose smells. But I gain like this smoky smell. I can't explain it. It kind of sucks. Anyway, I do essential oils every night because that helps. I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever got COVID before. But I don't know. I don't remember when my SIBO was really bad. So I could have just had a really bad immune system and just didn't respond to it. I don't know. It's terrifying to think about, so I don't think about it. But anyway, <laughs> I do these essential uh, oil smells every night and I do them five minutes apart uh, for 20 minutes, right? So usually what I do in a perfect world, which only happens maybe 5% of the time, I do a smell, go take a shower, get out of the shower, do a smell, go brush my teeth finish brushing my teeth do a smell go wash my face do my last smell and go to bed that's the ideal that only happens like five percent of the time um the problem that i was getting was that i would be so lazy about going into the other room to wash my face right and i'm like it really sucks because I got to go into the shower, not wash my face, dry myself off, go over to this other room after brushing my teeth, put water on my face and then wash my face in the sink and get water everywhere. Right. And listen, it took me way too long to get to this point. I was like showering one day. And I was like, why do I not simply just bring the cleanser into the shower and wash my face in the shower? I cannot tell you how long it took me to get to that point. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> no, I did. I did. <laughs> I did it like last week. <laughs> so now I'm washing my face every day. That's nice. Am I toning and hydrolauric, hydrochloric? I'm saying it wrong. Am I aciding and toning? No, <laughs> but I have a clean face. So you got to take what you get, you know? <laughs> so anyway, this is one of the many reasons why I'm pretty sure I have some sort of neuro spiciness in my brain. Um, <laughs> between that between the fact that i paid three overdue bills today don't worry they were all very small and very fine bills it's just i was like oh i should pay all of these the fact that i sent out an email last month maybe two months ago got a response that needed my response and i still have not responded to them i it's gotten to the point now that i'm like well, if I respond to them, are they just going to forget? Are they going to be like, who are you? But I have to, but I have to. Uh, I'm going to try and do that uh, tonight, maybe. Um, it wasn't even like a hard response. It was just like, yes, this location. But out of sight, out of mind, you know, I feel like I just didn't gain the right object permanence when I was younger. And so now I just forget everything. But that, that's that's about the way that goes. That's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, in completely unrelated news, completely unrelated. Before I switch over, because uh, I was looking at you guys and your wonderful subscriber uh, little guys there. Um, I put in a commission to get new subscriber badges because I have like three 
and I was like, hmm, I should get more. <laughs> so I guess look forward to that at some point. I don't know. I, I put the commission in today. We'll see when they respond. Um, all right, that's about it for me, for real. For real now, not for fake. Uh, let's let's get into the game. Yeah, yeah, it's really exciting. I um, I was trying to figure out what to put in. I was like, hey, Alex, what should I put in? And he was like, I don't know, some sort of food or drink. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, what about a shot of espresso? And I'm like, I gave him like, you know, like when the cats, when like cats make a stinky face, because I smelled something they didn't like. I made like the the worst stinky face at him. I was like, I hate espresso. <laughs> Why would I put something I hate? <laughs> but I, I figured it out. I figured it out. It was just, it was really funny. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. Before we start, I, I'm in a parasocial relationship with like three cats. And one of the cats added a photo to their Instagram story. Hold on. This is my friend's cat. I love her. Oh no. I'm too late on it. It's already gone. I hope she's doing well. They're, uh, they're introducing a new cat to their family. And so that's been going... Interestingly. <laughs> uh, their first cat, a dream. Perfect. No notes literal angel their new cat not a problem not a problem per se just like you know a regular cat being put into a new environment so a little bit of hissing a little bit of swiping a little bit of nervousness but they're working on it they're getting through it <laughs> and uh just in case you were curious the other two cats i'm in a parasocial relationship with one is uh echo's cat Aminette. I, I feel like the day I meet her, I'll weep because I love her so much. Um, and then the other parasocial relationship with the cat I'm in is uh, my mutual's cat. Uh, he's like, my, my mutual lives in Europe and has a cat and she's, I think she's deaf. And I love her. She has the raspiest, loudest meow. Hello, Cobalt. You know I'm also in a parasocial relationship with you, obviously. All right, let me let me switch over. I really need to get a physical picture of Coco so I can put her on my fridge. I need to remember to ask them for that. These are friends that I'll probably invite to my wedding, so if they end up coming, I'll be like, Bring pictures of your cats with me, please. I'm begging. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, if you weren't here yesterday, a lot of shit happened yesterday. Um, let's see. So, we, Seafreen, and the king are from the same country. And this country is something they mentioned very early in the game. And it's an island uh, north of the country that they're at that one day just disappeared. Gone. No one could remember it. No one could say its name. That explains a lot of our boy's memory problems. So our boy was like, well, King, I understand what you want. You want everything to stay perfect here in Valgard because you don't want anyone else to feel the loss of losing their island. And the king's like, you get it, you get it. And our boy is like, why don't we just stop fighting? And the king's like, yeah, why don't we? Why don't we? And then he pulls a flowey. Wow, you're so stupid. Puts us all in time, like freezes us all in time. And he's like, I'm going to make sure that you never forget because you're the one that keeps 
fucking up my plans. He takes our child, Bonnie, and is like, I'm going to make sure you never forget this. I'm going to kill them. We thankfully manage to uh, loop. We thankfully managed to loop before he could kill Bonnie. We went to go check on Bonnie. Bonnie's fine. But we're kind of shaken up. We got to go talk to Loop about all this. A lot of shit happened. And we're now in Act 4. That's what you missed. That's what we're doing now. We were all very stressed yesterday. It was half stress, half... Oh! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're going to talk to Loop. I literally went to check on Bonnie and was like, okay, we're ending for tonight. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, but now we're going to go talk to Loop. Um, oh, this is new. This is new. Um, hey, see. Whoa. What's wrong? I need to do the favor tree thing. Oh, do you need me to leave? Sure. But let's talk later, okay? We don't look good at all. We don't look good at all. And everyone's noticing that we don't look good. Hey, Loop. Hey! Stop. Just say I told you so and we can move on. I told you so. What a stupid idea you had. Thinking the king could be turned good. He's the king. He's probably the reason you're here. Or related to it at least. And all you had to do was find out he shares your tragic backstory for you to feel pity for him. He didn't have to lift a finger. And because of you, Bonnie was... But Bonnie's okay. But Bonnie's okay. Anyway, I told you so. But... What he said back then? He mentioned something... Yeah, he mentioned something about wishcraft! Like, apparently I have, like, wishcraft on me? He did. What's wishcraft? I... I don't know. Wishcraft. Crafting wishes? That sounds impossible and way too convenient. But he seemed to imply you were using it. That's what it felt like to me. Hi, Tentacat. How are you? How's it going? Thanks for coming by. I've never heard of wishcraft before. Me neither. I wouldn't even know where to find information about it. But that is new information. So as stupid as the whole making friends with the king was. You did find something new. Was it worth it? How am I doing? Um, a little bit existential crisis from this game, but mostly good. Mostly good. Hold on, I'm putting on lotion. I looked at my hands and was like, wow, I hate everything about this right now. They're so dry, but I keep lotion on my desk. So there we go. Okay. Every time you close your eyes, you still see a hand tightening. I'm also wondering. The way you looped last time, wasn't it? Whatever. It's not like your kid will remember whatever just happened anyway. Just put it behind you. I don't know. I mean, some fucked up happened. Some weird happened. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work the same way as before. Will they forget this loop? Oh no. And this whole thing gave you something else, didn't it? Another memory to equip. Get it? You didn't even notice. You'll always remember this, after all. Let me do the usual. You got a memory of memories. When equipped, memory of memories will allow you to read books you couldn't before- Oh shit. That's good. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the ones written in that language that just give you a headache. Yeah! 
The ones from your country. Oh, how useful and neat to be able to read your own blinding language. You might as well read any books you find before you forget again. Like you do everything else. And if you can read that language, maybe you can explore the house a bit more. Don't despair, Stardust. There's still a path to follow. In the meantime, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Uh, how can you help me on this wonderful new loop? Can you take it away? I'm such a cozy snake. Thank you, I try. You love my loop voice so much. Thank you. It just... They give the they give the impression that they just give off that voice, even when they're yelling at me. Um, what should I do next? Um, no, I know what I need to do next. See you later, Stardust. They gently wave you goodbye. Ah, uh, okay. I gotta go to the library. I gotta go to the library. Um, hmm. This isn't the library. There's a book in the library that I wasn't able to read before, I think. Hmm, I think so. And many more. Uh, nope. I'm gonna leave that book alone. Uh... There's a book, there's the place on the fourth floor, and there's, I think, the library on the second floor. And I'm trying to think about where else there might be places that I can't read. I think I couldn't read this. Shit! <laughs> I didn't put on the memory of memories. <laughs> Hold on. See, for now I'm being forgetful. Here you go, buddy. Try again. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Shit! Hold on! Hold on! Fuck! Oh! I fucked up. Okay, hold on. We gotta load. <laughs> we gotta load. Hold on. Uh. Because I, I really don't want to loop back to here to read this. <laughs> so, um... Hold on to your butt. I gotta skip through some text again. <laughs> yeah, because he's not gonna want to pick it up after. Uh, let me talk to you. Uh, what's- I'm not doing well, buddy. I ain't doing well. I need you to leave. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm just moving my mic closer. Sorry if it made a weird sound. Okay, we've already gone through this. So I'm just gonna skip through the text. While I skip through the text, I'm actually going to drink some water. I'm also going to mute because pressing the button probably sucks. Hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm still going through, but I'm done drinking. Uh, I'm very curious about Wishcraft. Like, it's wild that Loop doesn't know anything. Like, where does Loop come from? It feels like if the universe didn't send Loop, who did, you know? And why doesn't Loop know about witchcraft? It feels like Loop knows everything, but Loop also doesn't know everything, you know? And you wonder, why don't they know everything? Yeah. In the meantime, that's it. Bye. Alright. Now, I'm going to equip... This memory of memories. There we go. And we're gonna read that book! <sighs> Alright, we go here.
Yep, there's an old book. Let's get it. You can read its title now. Your heart is beating. But ump. But ump. But ump. It's. A translated copy of The Cursing of Chateau Castle, Issue 2. You start laughing. <laughs> that's that's really funny, actually. That's really funny. Um No, I don't I don't need to remember the number. I've already done that bit. Anything about witch wishcraft? Wishcraft? That sounds made up. Are you sure that sort of craft exists? I I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, Seif wanted to talk to me. No, I'm Seif. Isabo wanted to talk to me. Isabo's here. Looking towards the house. Hi again, Seif. What's up? Uh, I'm just gonna stay silent. I'm kinda... I need someone to notice. <laughs> okay, my turn. Hmm. What's a good joke? What for? Well, to make you laugh, duh. You always make me laugh with your puns, so it's my turn. But why? Uh, because we're friends? Oh. Do you not... Never mind. Funny joke, a funny joke. Isabel looks around and seems to notice the clock tower in the distance. I know. You know what I think about 6.30? The time. Yep. I don't know. What? Well, I think 6.30 is hands down the best time of the day. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you can't not laugh at this, buddy. Come on. That's pretty good. You laugh. <laughs> Yay! You'll need to remember to laugh next time. Shit. Alright, nope. Okay. Let me know if you need anything, okay? So, I think... I think this has got to be the loop where... People start noticing shit, right? Like, we didn't have a perfect loop. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I'm really not planning on fighting the king. So. We're just gonna. We're just gonna go in here. There we go. Whew. The food always tastes the same. You eat anyway. And then we love all of our friends. <sighs> Odile, you understand. She'd curse them if they tried. But why do they never hug you? There must be something wrong with you, isn't there? I think they just respect... Her boundaries. Uh. Guys, we have something new. So. It hurts, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep sleeping. Already asleep, huh? Oh well. And maybe. It would be fine if I said it now. Say it. Say it. No, no, that's not cool. I'll tell them tomorrow when we've beaten the king. You really have to, Isabeau. You crabbing coward. Good night, Seif. You never actually rest at the clock tower. Isabeau talks to you to say nothing, and you answer. Or you don't. And you blink, and it's over. You never sleep here. You just thought you did. Soon, you'll close your eyes and open them, and everyone's waking up. 
No. Everyone's ready to go. No. You're all leaving. No. You're at the entrance of the house, and you look up, and... I forgot. This is probably going to be very relevant here. But, here are the content warnings. For this game. Alright. There we go. The house's gate. You clench the orb tightly between your hands. Oof, excuse me. Alright, let's go do it. Let's go through it. Oh, up ahead, that's... You breathe in and out. Here again. Uh, let's just defeat it. Alright, Mirabelle. Do your thing. Seif. Do your thing. Isabo, do your thing. How are you still not dead? Woo! We did it! See, Mira? It wasn't that bad. I guess it wasn't. Uh, I need to equip a memory of sadnesses so they don't come fighting me. Busy. I do need to remember to equip it back, though. Yeah, let's save. Alright. Let's go get our stuff. Nope. No time. No time. Insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Uh... I don't want you to get hurt by that, Thief. So I'll, I'll go a little further. It's fine. I haven't noticed any big rock. Too cool, Thief. Too cool. Um, okay, let's see. Get the sharpening stone just in case. Ah, Bro doesn't remember again. Isn't that weird? Can't go that way. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh! Hmm, that's new. See, did something happen? What? What do you mean? Did you drink a special tonic or something? You seem... well... So graceful, right? I knew I wasn't imagining it. You're walking in a cool way. Like a dancer or something. You usually feel like a tiny finnick fox, but... You feel more like a panther right now. And the way you defeated the last few sadnesses we've seen. That was... Impressive. Whoa! It's time to get serious, you know? It's time to get serious. I will show the king my true power. I will show them all. And then... No one will ever make fun of me again for being barely taller than a preteen. I'm the same height as you, Mira. Oh. Mirabelle looks at your heeled shoes. Then at her flat boots. Girl, I have to say shit! <laughs> Is that so? 
<laughs> okay, okay. We have ads upcoming. Let's take a really quick ad break. Um, I'm gonna finish this dialogue and then take my like breaky break. Uh, so thank you so much for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. If you don't want to see any ads, please consider subscribing to me or using Twitch Turbo. Otherwise, I'll see you after the break. Please consider getting some water or food or uh, a bio break or just stretching. Take care of yourself during this ad break. All right, thanks. Youch. Yeah, Belle, hit him where it hurts. Youch. Are you really moving differently though? Faster? More silently? Come to think of it, your family members do feel slower to you now. Clumsier. How long have you been in here compared to them? Isn't that terrifying? Isn't that scary? Move. All right. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna switch back a little sooner than the ads. <sighs> Mostly because a lot of this is just, you know, re... re-doing stuff. <laughs> uh, I meant to equip while I'm in here. Memory of memories. Just in case I run into a book. Some vials, got some broth, got some crafted water. <laughs> let's put, let's equip it back. Some sadnesses. Okay, I'm still looking for a place to die. Still looking for some tears. What? Oh, I went the wrong way. That's on me. Okay, I went the wrong way. Hello, welcome back from the ad break. I hope you had a good ad break. Yeah, let's touch it. Tear froze you in time. All right. I'm going to go to floor two. You wake up. You dreamt you were eating your friend's hole. You want to throw up. Felt that, bro. Can I not? I can say I'm just hitting the wrong button. I was playing my Nintendo Switch earlier, and whenever I do it, I get messed up. I... I went forward two loops instead of one. I went forward two loops instead of one. Uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go to... Excuse me. Excuse me. I think there's a library around here somewhere. Uh, let me... Switch. 
Just in case there's anything I can read in here. I doubt it. But just in case. Alright. The desk. We're gonna take the key from here. You pick up the key. Don't think about how bad you are at your job. Don't think about anything. It's very lovely handwriting. Oh, yep. The stylish lady, yeah. Girl, we already did this. List of students' names. This student has five names? This is of our guardian of our guardian practice, as I recall. Having more than one name? Yeah! A lot of our guardians have more than one name. Usually it's one masculine name, one feminine name, and a free one for good measure. But some parents just go wild and give more than that. I had a coworker with ten names. The many names represent our capacity for change, our power to evolve, to become someone new at a moment's notice. And if you decide to change genders or become someone different than who you were before, you already have a name ready to pick out. This is... Lovely, actually. How Vagard's goal of change goes even as deep as names. I have another name too, so I feel a little closer to Vagard at this moment. You do? I wanna know, I wanna know! I'm curious as well. If that's okay. Hmm... If you tell me yours, I might. Unless that's frowned upon. Not really frowned upon. But some people might keep it secret for personal reasons. That's why not everyone on the student list wrote down every name, see? I wouldn't mind telling you though, Madame Odile. I'd tell you, but I forgot mine. My sister's the one who remembers. Hmm. I'm gonna pass. I wanna keep them secret. Because if I do change again, I don't want you to already know how to call me. I want it to be a surprise. Oh. Of course. Then let us keep our name secret for a little while longer. Seafreen. No other names. No last name. I can't believe even this far in the game I'm still getting unique dialogue. Yep, it's about bonding earrings. All your earrings look nice. Didn't mean to say that all of your earrings are bonding earrings. Crafting art, sewing, cooking. Some school books. Okay. Let us put... Our memory of sadness is back on. And let us go to the library, which I think is this way, somewhere. Here? Nope, this is sadness. Bow, 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 bow. I think this one. <sighs> what is this one? The paper? No, it couldn't be the paper one. It's probably the rock one, I guess. Uh... Yep, no. Yes, it's the rock one. It's the one that needs rock. Ooh. Let us heal you. a new attack that's called Just Attack. <laughs> Terrifying. Okay. So that's the I just need to kill this attack. Which is a little terrifying on its own. Okay. Let us go to the other side. 
Which I think that's where the library is. Oh! That's on me. That's on me. Attack! See frame. Just attack. Bro is not having a good time. They are straight up not having a good time at all. All right, we've been here. Let us continue. Is this the library? Nope. But... While passing through, you take a deep breath and poke. Poke my cheek again and die. Yep. Message received. You giggle under your breath. Ah, right. I have to come here. And get this. Um, does the head house maiden have anything to read in here? Is a good question. Hold on. Let me put on my, uh... Let me put on my thinking. My thinking skill. My memory. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Some notes about the king. Does he even remember his name? Doubt it. Closet full of administrative papers. Pile of papers. It's a petition to serve more bread at lunch. Felt that. All right. I have a feeling I need to try the library here. And I need to try the observatory again, and then the strange room up there. Okay. Put on your thinking cap. The bookcase is filled with theater scripts. Uh, filled with various novels. Buddy, I promise you don't have to remember it anymore. Yep, we're looking at the sparkly diary. I don't really need to read it anymore. But, let's do it. He turned to Isabel. Maybe this time? Can you try and say it anyway? Yeah. You know, you know, you know. Alright. Nothing there that's helpful. Anything here that's helpful? I was able to read all of these before. So, I mean, I'll get the key, but... Alright. Now we're going to the secret room. I forgot. I forgot to put my sadnesses back on, but that's okay. Paper! Just attack. Alright. So, anyway. Looks for no titles. Pile of lists of checked out books. Bookcase is filled with a book called Colors. Read that. Moldy old books. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. Actually, you can't. There's a lot of hard words in there. You don't know what this is even about. Maybe you should go back to it later. 
Shit. Uh, hmm. I guess... Yeah, I need to go to the fourth floor. Yeah. I need to go to the, uh... Ooh, let me just put this back on, because it's gonna continue to be a pain in my ass. So let's put on the Memory of Sadnesses. And let's go to floor four. Let's die again. Start again. We're gonna go to floor four. Well, floor three, rather. That's on me. I dreamt I was eating my friend's hole again. Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? Terrible. Oh. Excuse me. Okay, so. There are a few special places I need to go. Come on, friends. It's time to skedaddle. Yep. Yep, that's the king. He's crying. Fuck that guy. Um... I think I can only really go in here. That in here takes us to a secret passage. Ow! And let me see if maybe in here there's something to read, just in case. I don't think there is, but just in case. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Set for the change god. Open the drawer. You got a lot of shit. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Here. Ah, romance novels. That's it. Okay, cool. Let us put our sadnesses back on. And let's continue through. Uh, I have to remember where the observatory is. That's where I want to go. I want to go there and I want to go to the weird door. Which I have to go this way to do first. Yeah, I need to go. That's the way I need to go. So... I don't think there's anything in here to read. But just in case... Open book. Ah, 87. Yeah, that's the last issue. I've already done this. But I can't skip through it. Yeah, he was just a guy. He was magnificent and incredible and he was chosen because he was just a guy. No, nope. no important person. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I just need time. I love her. Okay. Uh, let's put back on the memory of sadnesses. So I'm not trying to fight every single sadness I come across. Fuck! I needed to go the other way. Anyway. Yeah, move. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, I need to go this way. Ah, to get to the mirror. That's why. Alright. Now I have the smiling key, so now I can go the other way. But just in case... I don't remember what that way is. Genuinely, just don't remember. 
All right, so we're gonna go this way. We're gonna put the key in. Yep. So now we can go this way and go this way. This is where the key is. I'm not actually here for this, but I'll take it anyway. Hi, Sabrina, how are you? Thank you for the four head kisses. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, this way? This way then? Yes, yes. Okay, hold on. We're gonna see what the fuck this room is about. What did I do? Nope, that's fine. Because now I can read it. This gate is locked. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. There's something written above the lock, too. You look at it. Isabel sees you look. Yeah, I know, I know. The door has a sentence written above the lock, too. Such an imposing door, though. I don't remember ever seeing it before. Hmm. There's some text written above the door, though. Look. It says... Youch. Youch. No, no, it's just... My head hurts. Shit, I was supposed to try and read it. Okay. Try and read what's written. You can read it now. It's asking a question. You answer it aloud. The door unlocks. Huh? What did you say, Seif? I couldn't hear it either. Did you say something? You open the door. <laughs> We're in a new room, buddies! Oh shit. Star charts. A drawer. You open it. There's a beautiful hat inside. It's very similar to yours. You got the starry hat! Let's go! A telescope. It's broken. A journal with a star on the cover. It looks very old. Feels like it'd break apart in one touch. I want to read it so bad. Please. Let's stop wasting time and reading every book we come across. But... If the book had a star on it, it must be important, right? You get closer to the book. Ugh, fine. Let's do it! Be careful handling it, though. Mirabelle carefully takes the book in her hands and flips through the pages. Hmm. It's a little long. It seems like it's the diary of a very sad person. Why sad? What happened to them? They don't actually say. It just feels like they lived through some hard times and everyone around them seems to brush their worries aside. Everyone's acting as if everything's fine while when this person continues to suffer. That's my life. That's Seif's life. Bummer. More like boring. Read a passage. Um, sure. Well... No one can understand what I've been through. Not my friends, not my family, no one. If no one can understand me, if I'm doomed to never truly be seen by another, if I'm the only one who can understand what I've gone through, then... Couldn't I just create another self? Huh? Another me? Someone I could talk to who could understand. Huh? Oh, interesting. Now we're getting somewhere. Talking to another self to come to terms with what they've gone through. But in the end, they'd still be alone, right? Sometimes, you just need a voice that answers back, Bonbon. Hmm... It would just be an echo chamber, though. You'd never get to any good conclusion, talking to yourself endlessly. I suppose they felt so alone they saw no other recourse, though. But tell me, Mirabelle. Do they get a rude wake-up call, as they realize creating another self is absolutely impossible? Yeah. Using craft to change a body is already hard enough. Creating a whole new one and identical to another, and one able to talk back? That's just impossible. Um, they spend a good chunk here trying to figure out how to do it. 
It's a lot of complicated theory. Their writing seems to be getting more frantic, too. It's barely legible in places. Of course. Realizing this can't be done. It's kind of sad. Oh? This page. It only has a few words, but... I've figured it out. How to create another me. Bodycraft didn't work. Crafting clay didn't work. Nor wood or marble. Nothing worked. But one thing could. Wishcraft. Wishcraft will make my wish come true. I just have to do it. I just have to ask. Shit! Wishcraft! The king did mention witchcraft before. Yeah, he did. He seemed to imply it was used to trap you in this time loop, didn't he? Yeah. So it is real. It's real. It, it's real. You hide your smile by covering your mouth. Seafering. And then? And then? Oh, and then... Maribel turns the page. Oh! My wish came true. I will always be understood now. Huh. Happy for them, I suppose. So they did it? They created another them? With... Wishcraft? What's wishcraft? Surely a type of craft they invented for this tale. As we've said, it's impossible to create a copy of yourself. Interesting premise, though. And making this fictional tale look like an old diary was interesting. Too bad witchcraft isn't real, though. I'd wish for stuff, too. But it is real. It has to be. It has to be. You have to tell Loop about this. Y you think Seaf real witchcraft? Yeah, I agree. I agree. A bookshelf. All the books are so old, they probably disintegrate in a single touch. It's... What is this? It has a lot of balls attached to it. And there's a lever here. If we turn it, it seems the balls will move around this big middle ball. Does it represent something? It looks familiar somehow. Yes, I feel like I've seen something like this before. It's called an ornery. An ornery? It's a machine to calculate the positions of astronomical objects. Astro what? Like stars and planets and stuff. Who would need to calculate this? <laughs> For once, Seafreen hasn't forgotten something, but we all have. Well, that's that. That's that! No N in that word. Or, or, orary look. I'll look it up later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll look it up later. Um. Let's see. Memory of sadnesses. It's like or, orary? Orary? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um. All right. Time to... Yeah, time to go back. We gotta talk to Loop about this. You wake up. You dreamt about stars. 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 You want to cry. Okay, give me a second. I gotta pee again. Give me just a sec.
Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. Oof. All right, let's go talk to Luke. Let's go! Maribel, hi! Maribel, let's do a sleepover. I'll let everyone know. Hey, carrot method. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Loop. Alright, Isabo's here. Hi, Isa. I need to do the favor tree thing. Loop! Hi, start Loop! Whoa! Y yes You heard it, didn't you? Heard what? You know, I don't actually spy on you all the time. I found it, Loop. Wishcraft! Wishcraft? The thing the king spoke of. I found it in a book, Loop! The writer said they wanted to create a whole new body and use wishcraft for it. Wishcraft made their wish come true! Create a whole new body? That's... impossible, right? But they did it with wishcraft! I love how happy Seafreen looks. Seafreen, we're gonna get you through this, buddy. It's a real loop. It has to be. A craft that allows you to do the impossible. Like creating a body. Like looping in time! Like, maybe... Freezing people in time as well? <gasps> That's right! If the king knows about wishcraft, could wishcraft be how he got the power to craft time? <clears throat> Did he use witchcraft to be able to use timecraft? It makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <clears throat> huh. Stars, that's something, isn't it? That's a new lead. Finally, right? Finally, indeed. Well, you know what to do, don't you, Stardust? Find more information. Indeed you do. Not to send you on another book chase, but... Book time. Book time. You can read those weird books now, can't you? Maybe one of them might mention it. Hmm. Alright, now that you're here, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? I think I know what I need to do. There's a book that I couldn't read, so I gotta, I gotta go read that book. It was like, it was too, it was too hard. It was on floor three. I remember that. It was in the, the secret tunnel, secret passage. Yeah, I could read it now, but it was way too over my head. But now, I think if I see wishcraft in it, I'll be like, ah, okay. Food always tastes the same, you eat anyway. I thought at least Seif would be a little happier, you know? Yeah. Oh. Oh, why did they never hug me? No, bro, we know why they don't hug you. You got touch aversion. Uh, I'll turn around and listen this time. Bro still ain't gonna tell me. You're killing me. You're killing me. You're a chicken. Okay. You wait for the universe to bring you to the entrance of the house. You blink. So... Uh, an additional fun tidbit for you, Sabrina, because I don't think you were here yet. Um, during the first time that I slept after all that, slept, quote unquote, uh, our boy is like, I don't sleep. I just sort of end up. Like, I close, I blink. And then we end up in front of the house. Isn't that fucking weird? <laughs> Basically. It's kind of wild. 
Gotta, gotta love the meta in gaming, you know? Okay. I am busy. Well, let's defeat it. I am really fast. I'm just gonna attack. I wonder how they're gonna react to that. Oh, they just, they're like, we did it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Are you still scared of me? Yeah, you're still afraid of me. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. I'm just gonna go die, it's fine. No time. Yep. Yep. Alright, see if let's go die. It's fine. No, buddy, it's fine. You did it on purpose. Cause we're going to floor three. We're gonna read that book, buddy. Can you remember basic stage directions? No, bro, you're fine, you're fine. I'm pretty sure I'm in the right place. Um. All right, let's go, friends. Uh, yep. I don't hear that, but I trust you. Hold on one sec. <sighs> Sorry, I like adjusted my glasses a little too much. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go, friends, let's go. Move. All right, let's get the mirror from here. Doesn't really matter, but let's do it. Oh, God. <laughs> That always scares me. There I am. My glasses. Except lists. Glasses lists. Alright. Um, I'm not gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Thank you for redeeming lose my glass. I ran right into that guy. <laughs> but thank you for redeeming lose my glasses. See? Just attack, buddy. They also, my team comments uh, when I came in before around how I'm moving a lot sleeker. Like a panther. And I'm just like, how long have I been in here? You know? We're not wasting our time. I have to come here, I'm pretty sure. Let me equip a memory of memory so I can read it. It's a very complicated book, apparently. Was it here? No, it wasn't here. It wasn't here. Uh... Shit, I'm on the wrong floor. I'm on the wrong floor. Fuck. It was in the- it was in the- the library. The secret part of the library. Fuck! <laughs> I came to the wrong one. Okay. Let's- let's go die. Let's go die. That's on me. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have to be on this floor. Hey, we're on loop 69! You dreamt that you were falling. 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 You feel unsteady. No, after you beat the boss of the floor, and you, like, go into the area where you're, like, hanging out. I can actually show you. You, like, can't go back down. Yeah, so you can only stay on the floor. You can go up, but you can't go down. That's how it goes. Yeah, 69. Nice. Oh. Uh, let's see. I'll grab this just in case. But I don't think I need it.
You're all children. Yeah, it's funny. It's a funny number. I know you're giggling a little on the inside too, maybe. Maybe. I think this needs rock. Mm-hmm. Just attack. The thing about <laughs> not child am <AM> 69. <laughs> Love it. Wonderful. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can't go that way. Oof. Gotta go to the other side. Oh, almost ran into that guy. That's on me, buddy. My bad. Didn't mean to startle you. Startled myself. Okay, let's see. Uh, go this way. I guess I could just go the other way and like skip this if I were trying to speed run or something. But it's fine. Uh, what's in here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what happens. As you pass through the tight space, the tables, and the wall, you brush against everyone. Touch, 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 touch. You try to get some human contact every loop, even if it's discreetly like this. Uh, hydrate? Thank you. Thank you for redeeming hydrate. I'll drink the rest of my water. How are you? How are you doing? Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, so then they talk about the head house maiden. Yup. Then I pick up the key. Yup. Then I go to the library. You doing well? How am I? I'm doing pretty well. More or less. Uh... This uh, game really pulls me through the ups and downs of different emotions, but we're doing well. Uh, let's see. Okay, now we're in the library. Now I need to switch so that way I can read this book. All right. Let's go, friends. Yeah, emotional damage, literally. Literally. The game. Oh, I put it on a little too early. I don't want to have to fight that guy, so... Mo move! <laughs> okay. And I put on my Memory of Memories, and I read this book. You can read it now. What? No! No! Okay, um... Uh, the only other thing I can think about is that I need to go to uh, the observatory, maybe? Uh, hmm. 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 I'm thinking. Give me a second. Uh, I should have... I should have a Starcraft, right? I have a silver coin. You flip the coin in the air a few times. Clap, clap, clap. You can just actually clap instead of saying clap, clap, clap out loud. Never! I love them. Um, hold on. Before I go to this, um... I'm pretty sure I was probably right on the third floor then if this book, if I can't read this book. And the only other thing I can think of is either the observatory or there's another room. There's a third way, but I don't remember what that got me to. So let me, let me think about this for a second. Because what was the observatory? What was the way I was supposed to do? When I got the knife key, but what was the third way? 
And I don't want to do it and be wrong, because then I'm just going to waste time. Uh, hmm. Okay. 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 I think. I think. I think I know. I think I know. So. Again, I was on the wrong floor. So we're just. We're gonna loop back to floor one. Um. This way. Yep, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So I think before I go to that book in the secret library, I need to go... You purposefully trip on a small rock. Ha! Whoa. You okay, Seif? You give a thumbs up. You're clumsy and not at all threatening and overpowered compared to them. Definitely. I'm just a clumsy little guy, you know? Just a little, just a little guy. Here. This is Storad Jadge room. There we go. Okay, there should be a book in here. Apparently. Oh! That's right. Okay, I'm glad I talked to the wrong book. Uh, because you're tired. Tired of repeating the same blinding lines over and over and over again. I just don't have much to say. Teehee. Hmm. And it's nice to hear you all talk. Okay, so, 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 so. We are gonna equip your memories and it should be in here somewhere the bookcase is filled with many books written in many different languages or guardian potarian mudu one of them's written in your language you can read it now it seems to be a theoretical essay about how to use witchcraft 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 so it is real you start flipping through it seafried what are you looking at? It's a book on something called Wishcraft. Wishcraft? What's that? Do we really have time for this right now? You grin. I think Wishcraft is what gave the king power over Timecraft. Oh, crap. This would be very, very, very useful to know, wouldn't it? Interesting. May I see? How are you even reading this? Letter's bad. I can't read it at all. I've never even heard of Wishcraft. Are you sure it's even real? Worth a try. Since you can read it, can you translate what you can, Seif? You nod furiously. You start reading and translate as best as you can. I'll leave the thinking to you all. I am a child. I have a lot on my mind. <laughs> I cannot help. Understandable. Isabo and Odile listen intently, while Mirabelle and Bonnie start playing some kind of game in the corner. You keep translating. After a bit, Odile nods. Hmm. I think I understand. Wishcraft, as the name implies, is the art of crafting wishes. Of making whatever you desire come true. According to this, there seems to be no clear limit on what kind of wish you can make come true. A big part of it seems to come through just believing very strongly that you, uh, that your wish will come true, huh? So by crafting some specific rituals, in conjunction with a powerful will for your wish to come true, people can seemingly make any kind of wish come true. Um, okay. You used the word congestion, so now I'm confused. Conjunction. It means 
<laughs> the same way we use craft and certain knowledge and will to make figurines move, there's a way to use craft to make your wishes come true. You nod. You nod. Bonnie raises their hand. You have a question, Boniface? Um, so... Um... Can it make any wish come true if you ask? Yes. But the way the wish comes true seems a little more complicated than that from what Seafreen translated. Yeah, depending on what you ask, your wish might not come true. But you might get the means to make your wish come true. So like, let's say... Let's say you wish to win a rock, paper, scissors tournament. Instead of just having it come true through pure luck, you might get something to help make it come true. Like, maybe you get better at reacting, and you can see your opponent's hand in slow motion as it falls, so you can change your own hand. Or maybe you'd get the insight to tell what they're playing based on their body language. Or you just get the power to see the future, so you know what hand your opponent will play beforehand. Oh, or maybe you can meet a powerful rock-paper-scissors master who'd be willing to teach you through the goodness of their heart. Maybe. But what if your opponent also made a wish to win? What do you think would happen? Hmm. Maybe the wishes would cancel each other out and the match would end in a draw. Or maybe their wishes would both be considered null and it'd be anyone's game. Or maybe the wishes can't work because it's two opposite wishes, so they'd both explode and destroy the whole world. Oh no. But neither of the wishes would come true then. So maybe, maybe they'd both get to win somehow. Maybe they'd go to different tournaments. Or share a medal. Cute. <laughs> this is fascinating. Makes you want to go into wishology, huh? Ah, almost. So, if wishcraft is how the king got his powers, what did he wish for then? I don't know, but maybe his power to freeze people in time might not be what he wished for. But it's the means to make his wish come true. To make Vogard perfect. A perfect picture. Oh! But then, um, question, I have a question. Yes, Mira. I give you permission to speak. Thank you. Um, Seafreen. You think the king could have gotten timecraft powers by just witching for them, right? You nod. Considering he's the one who told you about wishcraft in the first place. So then, if wishes can be that powerful, wouldn't anyone making a wish at any time be kind of dangerous? We'd be living in a very different world, wouldn't we? If someone wished to be the strongest person alive, or a kid wished for a million ponies, we could do that. Wish for a million ponies? No! <laughs> to answer your question, my dear Mira, it seems that just wishing for those things does hold a little power, but like, not enough to actually make anything come true. But like Steve said, over time, people figured out specific ways to do wishcraft to increase their chances of the wish coming true. And it depends on the wish, too. Some wishes are easier to make true. It also depends on the strength of the wish. Like, how much you want it to come true. Although, it seems the strength of the wish isn't as important as the whole ritual part. You can wish as hard as you want for something, but if there's no ritual, it's very likely that nothing would happen. Hmm. I wish I won this single game. Wouldn't ask for much belief or for a lot of rituals. But in theory, you could prepare rituals and wish for something much larger, like I wish I could win this world tournament. Or, I wish I could get enough power so I could freeze a whole country in time, right? Right. So the king knew how to do wishcraft then? That's what this means? Wishcraft could account for his mastery over time magic. And so, he must have known specific rituals to make his wish come true. Where could he have learned them? Hmm. Does it matter? Because that's it, isn't it? That's it! Wishcraft is the art of making wishes come true. Wishes that could bestow immense power. A wish must be what's trapping you here. 
That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you can't help but smile widely. Finally, a hint. Finally, a real path you could follow. Something you can do. You try and calm your breathing. Whew. Okay. Specific rituals, huh? It's a long shot, but there might be another book about witchcraft somewhere. Wishcraft. Something you couldn't read before. I know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. Ooh. All right. All right. Going back to floor two. Yeah. You dreamt you were eating your friend's hole again. Great. Maybe si uh, Seif wished for the loops, but forgot. It, it could be. It could be. I'm on loop 78. That's wild. Okay. Uh, before we go and find this book, um, actually, I'm going to make my way to the book. But I have ads coming soon. So, let me make my way over here. And then... Oof, excuse me. Oh god, I saw myself again. Jesus Christ. I hate when that happens. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna find this book. And then, um... No, I'm gonna find the area. And then we're gonna take an ad break. Because I know where it is. I gotta go this way. Yep. So, before the ads happen, thank you so much for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. Uh, please consider subscribing to me. You'll get access to my very cute subscriber emotes and you will have to watch ads. Or consider using Twitch Turbo for no ads across Twitch. Uh, if you do have ads and you don't want to do all that, that's fine. Consider taking a little bio breaky and taking care of yourself during the ad break. Uh, you don't have to take a bio break though. You can also take a water break or a food break or if you don't need to do any of that, stretch your body. Well, thank you for the stretch. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start my ads now. I'm gonna get to the book, I'm gonna make sure that I'm all set, and then I'm gonna take a bio break. And I'll see you in three minutes. There we go, there you go. All right, memory of memories. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pee, I gotta go pee. Oh, I also had to stretch. I forgot to switch to my BRB screen, but whatever. Hello. <laughs> All 
All right, I'm just gonna sit around until my ads finish. Uh, I'm gonna check out what's cool on the discords. Let's see, let's see. Oops. Yay, thank you. Welcome, welcome back to you as well. I hope you had a good break time. If you took a little break, ye. How is your eepiness? Are you a little less sleepy? Are you able to last until bedtime? I don't know when your bedtime is, but can you last? Can you do it? That's it. You're less EP. It's 6 p.m. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're an hour behind me. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been too late for you to sleep before. Well, you would have been right on, like, right on the, the edge, you know? Like, because I think it was 4 p.m. then. Right on the edge. I've had 4 p.m. sleeps that haven't messed me up. But I've also had 4 p.m. sleeps that have messed me up. So, <laughs> it's very, it's very treacherous. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. We're talking about naps. All right, let's read. Did I switch? Did I switch? Yeah, let's read this fucking book. I think I can read it now. It seems to be a book on different rituals to craft wishes. You flip through it. Oh. Another wiggly headache book. Is this another book on wishcraft? You nod. You start translating as best as you can. The book talks about many different rituals to craft wishes, from the correct way to pick up four-leaf clovers, to calling out to shooting stars the right way, to... Favorite tree what now? The favorite tree can grant wishes? Favorite trees like the ones in Dormont? The one everyone asks things to? Aha! It makes sense, it makes sense! You even vaguely remember thinking about it a long time ago. Asking a higher power for a favor is no different than making a wish, isn't it? Isn't it? So, could someone's wish to the favor tree have trapped you here? Who's? What? What did you wish for at the favor tree again? You think and think and think, trying to remember what you even wish for. It was so far back! Such a long time ago. You wished... You wished... to visit more places with Mirabelle. Was that all? You think so? Oh. It can't... It can't be because of your wish, then. You haven't even gotten further than beating the king, let alone leaving the house to make that wish come true. Your wish can't come true until you escape the loops. So then, maybe. What did you all wish for? To the favorite tree, you mean? Well, I mentioned it earlier, but I wished to win a coin flip. A wish that came true, now that I think about it. I didn't put any belief in it, but the rituals are supposed to be the important part, aren't they? But you know her wish doesn't come true on every loop. Some loops she wins the coin flip, some loops she doesn't. I... I asked for my sister to be okay. I... I wish for all of Vagard to be safe from the king. Hmm. Isa? What about you, Isabo? I... Um... Didn't wish for anything. What? 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 Listen! I just didn't know what to wish for! I'm an indecisive guy! Leave me alone! I can't believe this. Oh, madame, I'm gonna w wish to win my next coin flip is gonna judge me now? I didn't think anything would happen. At least I wish for something. That's too bad. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of bummed I didn't wish for anything now. 
Why didn't I clap my hands and wish for something? Huh? Clap your hands. Uh, yeah. That's how you ask a favor to the favor trees. You look at the tree and clap your hands once and say aloud whatever you ask for. Um, Isabel looks at everyone else. Is that not correct? No, it's what I did. Me too. This is how you taught me, Isabo. That's also how I learned it in school? Seafreen, did you... not do it like that? No, of course not. You make your wish and breathe it into the leaf you like best. And fold the leaf over to keep your wish safe. Uh, what? It just... Makes sense. <laughs> They're all looking at you. You only wished at the favorite tree that one time, but it just makes sense. You try to explain. You choose a leaf to represent yourself. Uh-huh. You breathe your wish into it. To make a link between you and whatever you're wishing for. So, a link between you and the tree. No. The universe, I think. What's up? Keep going, Seafreen. You repeat your wish three times. Three times? Six could work, I think, or seven, or thirteen. So, whatever number. And then you fold the wish into the leaf to tether the link between you and the wish. Touching it. They're all staring at you! If you look at the tree and clap and say stuff aloud, why would the wish know where to go? I... I suppose so? That... kind of makes sense, I suppose. But that's so many details to remember. And that's not how we were taught at all. It's something we learned as Vagardians, and I've never heard anyone do it differently. But then... The favorite trees are more of a superstition, aren't they? No one really takes it seriously. Well, except lately. When everyone started taking it super seriously, just in case. So... So... So did everyone in the country mess up their wish? Ah! Odile starts laughing. What? Why are you laughing? Sorry, sorry. It's just funny. This could have been a way to save Vaugard if everyone somehow wished for it. But no one knew how to do it correctly, so... Ha! <laughs> and the only person who knew how to do it wished for... What did you wish for, Seafreen? It's embarrassing. I wish for croissants to be eradicated. What? What? No! Not croissants! And since Seafreen knew the ritual, croissants might actually be... Oh no... I sure hope this specific wish doesn't come true. But yeah, no one except Seif knew the right ritual, but... Rituals are only one part of it, right? Belief is another. If enough people wish for the same thing, maybe it can make a difference. Heh. <laughs> a drop of belief in an ocean of nothing. Boo. Hmm. So... Mirabelle wished for Vaugard to be saved. Odile wished to win a coin flip. Bonnie wished for their sister to be okay. And Isabeau didn't wish for anything. You don't think any of those wishes could have trapped you here. So, maybe someone else's? The king probably wished for Vaugard to be perfect or something, so you don't think it's related to you. Is there a way to know what people in Vaugard wish for? You should ask the villagers in Dormont what they wish for. All right, folks, it's time to go back to Dormont. Bro, why didn't you move? <laughs> yeah, you're misery. I'm misery. Just attack. Weak. Alright. 
Let's go die. Right here. Let's go back. The Dormont. Loop 83. I'm definitely not in the 80s yet, but okay. Seafreen, you're up! Yo, sleepover? I'll let everyone know. Talk to you later. Parrot method. Watch her go. Alright, let's talk to the people of Dormont. Uh, maybe later. Oh, yeah. Would I ask for the favorite tree? <laughs> I asked for Vaugard to be saved so I could catch more fish. Alright, what about you? Hello! Welcome to my house, complete stranger! I like going into strangers' homes. I'm gonna pick the round beads this time. You told her to give her wife the other necklace before. But she just did the exact same thing. The universe must not care about her that much. Ooh. I'd like to ask my wife which one she actually prefers. What's wrong? You look really pale. The favorite tree, huh? I asked it to save my wife. Make her move again. I could have asked it to save everyone, but I'm selfish like that, I suppose. Alright, what about you? Oh, hey, traveler. You're not from Vaugard, are you? That's the rumor, at least. I'm from Botaria myself. Uh, I've been to Botaria once. Ah, is that so? How did you like it? Very good place. A fellow theater fan. Nice. You give each other a nod, as fellow actors. Doesn't matter if one of you isn't aware of it. You need to ask. The favor tree. I asked to be able to go back to Pateria soon. That's it. That's it. Okay. What about you? Welcome to the library. I'm not looking for anything. Oh, would I ask the favorite tree? Um. I don't actually believe in that stuff. So I didn't ask for anything. I did help the head housemaiden with it. She was asking everyone what they asked for. I don't know why. Why are you asking? Hmm. 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 Let's talk to Loop about that. Hi, Issa. I need to do the favorite tree thing. Yeah, see you at the clock tower. Bye. Loop. Hi, Stardust. Hey, you've looped back a lot using tears, haven't you? Was it on purpose or did you trip into them? On purpose, I guess. Hmm. I suppose it is useful. It's a fast way to loop back. Isn't it tiring, though, having to walk back to find one? Are you tired? Are you annoyed yet? Are they trying to get on your nerves on purpose? Not on purpose. Just trying to make conversation. It is annoying have to having to walk back every time, though. Right. Well, there's no faster way. And it's either this or die in a fight. So I'd say tears are better. Is it the only way? I do have a dagger. Ha! <laughs> you sure do. What do you mean? I do have a dagger. Stardust, are you serious? 
You want to stab yourself and die so you can loop back? You shouldn't. Stabbing yourself isn't... <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> Stabbing yourself isn't as easy as touching a tear, you know. It'll hurt. A lot. That's quite a reaction from loop. It definitely hurt, yeah. Uh... Look, but I'm already hurt emotionally. So, uh, that's fine. Stardust, I don't want you to. Listen to me and don't even think about it for universe's sake. Loop seems really against the idea. Uh... But I kind of want to see where this is going. And who are you to tell me what to do? Stardust, don't! Ah. Uh -huh. Loop suddenly freezes. You see them clutch their head in their hands in pain. When suddenly... Oh, shit! Oh! You can now use your dagger to loop back whenever you want. You can do so by going into your pockets and using your dagger, in battle or elsewhere. Doing so will immediately end the loop, allowing you to loop back wherever you please. Did... Did I just... Did I just pseudo let me use the dagger? Did I just pseudo let me use the dagger? Loop won't look at you. You should probably go now. I'd rather not see your face again this loop. You flee. Warning, sharp. Think about your dagger. That's uh that's the That that's what we got. That's what we got. All right. I mean What's worse? Stabbing myself with my dagger? Or getting crushed by a rock? Which is worse? Uh... I need to get back to the next loop. Uh... Uh... What do we do? do should, should we do it? <laughs> should we do it? <laughs> We, we went through all that to get permission. Should we do it? Stab self is better in my opinion. It's like, I can kind of choose to do it, you know? It kind of sucks, but like... I, crushed? Stabbed? You've already come this far. Oh god. Your dagger. Okay, what's terrifying is that I can use it on my party. Isn't that terrifying? I don't want to think about that. Not here. Alright. I, I, I guess we're gonna do it. I guess we're gonna do it. Oh god. Now I gotta think about it. Now he's gotta think about it the whole time. That's kind of the worst. Come on, buddy. Alright. Let's keep sleeping. Yeah, the content warning's really coming in clutch here. Really coming in clutch. <laughs> Wowie. I mean, it's probably better than the sharp piece of glass, to be honest. Okay. Friends, don't look at me. Don't look at me, friends. Don't look at what I'm about to do. Don't look at me. You take your dagger in hand. Just a fast and easy way to loop back. 
Using a dagger on yourself. This is gonna be rough. You'll go back, sure. But you'll be killing yourself. Are you 100% absolutely sure you want to go through with this? You can always continue to use tears to loop back and you can talk to loop to take back your choice. Don't use it. Don't do this, Stardust. Please. <laughs> hey friends, what are we doing here? Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Um hold on. Hold on. Let's let's make a little poll. Let's make a little poll here. Oh god. We'll do something we can't come back from. Um I can't find where my polls are. Uh I went to view results instead of new poll. All right, it's very simple. A one minute poll, let's go. Do we, do we stab or do we not stab? How we feeling? Oh, I found my parasocial cat pictures. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, the new cat's really cute, too. Oh, my God. How are all Stabby these cats wobby. so cute? Stabby Wobby. <laughs> Stabby Wabby. All right. The poll is almost done. Put in your answers now or forever. Or forever. Uh, we all feeling stab, huh? We're all feeling okay. Let's do it. The content warnings coming in clutch. If you're here and you haven't read the content warnings, please read the content warnings. Very important here. Uh, but you want to stab yourself and die. It'll be so much faster to loop back if you do this, though. One stab, wait a few minutes, and instant loop back. You grip the handle. See? What are you? You grip the handle. And quickly you. Can you imagine just coming in? Can you imagine just coming into this? You go into the final place you gotta go. And your friends, they're like, all right, we're going to beat up the king. Let's go. Let's go. And then your one person that you love, that you consider a very great friend, just kind of pulls out a dagger. We're not going to think about it. <laughs> well, that was an instant. This felt like forever. Endless seconds bleeding out, having to watch your family members watch you die. Felt like the end. Coming and staying. That was the worst. But it's fine though. But it's fine. Being able to loop back whenever you want is great, isn't it? Isn't it? It's fine. It's fine. You're fine. Ah. Ah. Uh, you feel like throwing up. Oh, see. If, see if I won't make you do this all the time. Don't worry. I'll, I'll give you the instant of, you know, just falling. Just getting... Crushed by a rock. Imagine like the trauma of seeing your friend do it in front of you, but your consciousness doesn't know it happened, right? Right. Like, just traumatized for no reason, right? Okay. Let me talk to the, the librarian again. Yep, I ain't looking for anything in particular. Yeah, but you asked the favorite tree.
She was asking everyone what they asked for. I don't know why. Why are you asking? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to talk to Loop about it if Loop will talk to me. Hopefully Loop will talk to me. Hello, Seif. Isabo, I'm Seif. Hi, Isa. I need to do the favorite tree thing. Yes, yeah, you at the clock tower. Loop is not gonna talk to me. Oh, I can't stay mad at you, little cutie. Look at you, Stardust. So stupid, so lost. So willing to stab themselves for things to go slightly quicker. Just so you know, being forced to tell you how to kill yourself? Not the best way for me to spend my day. So, how did suicide feel, you cutie patootie? Not so easy, huh? Yeah. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> but I'll still keep it. Of course you will. As upset as I am, I might have done the same in your position. It is very useful to be able to loop back whenever you please. Just, you know, curse you for putting me in this position, I guess. And even though you have it still, I hope you won't use it for your sake. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna fuck you up mentally. Anyway, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Um, let's talk about something. Oh, why Stardust? Because you're what's left, I suppose. What's left? Of what? <laughs> because it's a cute nickname. You're my little Stardust. My little cutie patootie Stardust. Ew. But just say you don't want to answer, it's fine. But it's so much fun to annoy you instead. Distracting people with puns and jokes is the best way to evade stupid questions. Yeah, you can relate. Uh, I had a question about... I saw a weird shade? A weird shade? When I was fighting the king. A shade that doesn't exist. Like... A uh, color. A color? Don't you remember? I think you read a book about it somewhere. Maybe you should look at it again. Try to find other books if you wanted to find out more. Um... I really need to talk to you about... Sure, Stardust. What do you need help with? Um... Find out more about the king? No. The loops? What should I do now? So, someone's wish or multiple wishes might be the reason you're looping in time. You've thought about it and... I don't think it's my wish. Hmm. And it doesn't seem to be anyone in your party either. So, what did everyone else in Vaugard wish for? Someone mentioned the head housemaiden and asked them the same thing. But she probably won't answer if you ask her. Is there a way to know why the head housemaiden asked them this, besides talking to her? Maybe you should search her office on the second floor. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Alright. That's it. I'm good. Nothing. Okay. I just said to him, I just said to them, I'm not going to do this again, but I'm going to do this again. I want to get to the second floor. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't look. Don't look. Not here. Okay, I think I have to wait till I get in. And that's just, I'll just get crushed. I'm okay getting crushed. <laughs>
Come on, friends. Let's go get crushed by rocks together. I just still think it's terrifying that I can choose people other than myself to hit with my dagger. Isn't that terrifying? <laughs> I don't like that. All right, you suppose whispering my name? I guess I'm turning around to listen. I hit, it probably wouldn't work. I hope so. I hope so. All right, okay. All right, universe, bring me to the entrance. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. All right. To the second floor. Oh, there's a shade or a sadness. How about we just stay silent and skip? Alright, just attack. Woo! We did it! Alright, bye friends, let's go, let's continue. Oh! Okay, good, I have it on. Cool. All right, yep, we got it. No time. Let's go this way. Let's go get crushed by rocks. No, it would, I did not forget. It was on purpose. You're good, buddy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's save our progress. Let's save. All right, excuse me. I'm ready. Uh, I think we gotta go this way first. Whoa! Yeah, move! Move, buddy! Shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to come in here. Just attack. Uh... Good job, everyone. Starcrest. I went the wrong way. Ah, I have to go this way. I don't think I need anything in here. Not particularly. Whoop. Alright, let's go to this way. And then we'll go this way. Bro, come on! Not cool, not cool. Just attack. Damn. How I get through that dude's, uh... Wow. I was able to get through the hand to kill him. That's wild. 
All right, let's continue. Let's go this way. Let's go through here. All right, now we're looking through her stuff. Pile of papers. Some frozen flowers. Let me equip to just in case. Okay, so it looks about various subjects. Childish dreams of the head housemaiden. Change ornament. Some notes about the king. Yeah, does he even remember his name? Closet full of administrative papers. I guess what I need to look in is here. You pick up the key. Wait. There really is nothing else important in here. Some paper and ink. On the paper you can see a spreadsheet of some kind. There's two columns, one filled with names, while the other one only has one or two. The first full column is titled Save Vaugard. The second near empty column is titled Other. And then you realize this is a list of people who wish to save Vaugard. You look around her desk trying to find out more. Why would she report why would she record the people who wish to save Vaugard? There. It's a little notebook, jammed between random boring paperwork. In it, the head housemaiden talks about wishcraft. How in the days before the king attacked, she noticed everyone was wishing to the favor tree for the same thing. To save Vaugard. Before? And she started wondering if this wish could be the key to the king's defeat somehow. So the head housemaid knew about wishcraft. A wish for Vaugard to be saved. Reading this. You start to wonder if this wish could be related to your loops. Have you been looping this whole time? To save Vaugard? If you think about it, it somewhat fits. You and your friends are the only ones who can save Vaugard, so if you died, the wish could activate then, making sure you loop back to before your death so you could try again. Maybe the wish manifested itself by giving you the power to loop back in time? But why would I loop after talking to the head house maiden? Without this power, you would have failed and died, and the king would never have been defeated, making the wish impossible to fulfill. So maybe that's it? You're here because of this wish? But Vargardians shouldn't know the correct rituals to wish, and rituals are the most important part. The wish shouldn't have come true without them. Could their belief in this wish be enough for it to come true? If a lot of people wished on a countrywide scale, and why is the wish centered on you? Why not everyone in your party? And, and, if that's the case, if this wish is why you're here, then why are you still here? You've beaten the king already, haven't you? If that wish is why you're here, the loop would have stopped after you beat the king, right? Did you do something wrong? The pieces don't completely fit yet, but there's no doubt in your mind that Vargardian's wish to save Vaugard is why you're trapped in this loop. You're getting closer. You smile. See, Freen, is something wrong? You've been staring at this notebook for a while. Just lost in thought. Uh, oh, okay. Shall we get going then? The head housemaiden. She's the one who wrote this. She knows about wishcraft. She knew something was wrong this whole time. She might know how to... You should go and talk to her as fast as you can. But first, you have to talk to Loop. You have to tell them what you found. Alright. Time to go hit a Loop. Uh, Time to go hit a tear. Alright, let's talk to Loop. Because the fate of the king's country maybe will affect Vaugard, and in the loops is a way to avoid it? Maybe. Let's go back. 
You dreamt about stars. 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 You want to cry? We're on loop 91. Hi, Mirabelle. You ever thought about doing a slumber party? Carrot method. I just like to think about how I probably just say it to her like a fucking like sleeper agent. It's just like carrot method. And then she's like, oh, you know. Hi, Isa. Gotta do the favorite thing. Bye. Hey, it started loop. I figured it out, loop. Everyone's wish. It's probably the reason I'm here. Everyone's wish to save Vaugard. Huh? It makes sense, loop. I'm looping and not dying so we can beat the king. Everyone's been wishing for Vaugard to be saved from the king. And if I die, the king can't be beaten. Vaugard can't be saved. That's why I can loop back in time, loop. That's why. What? But then why? This whole time, I might be trapped because Vaugard wished for it. Our guardians don't know the ritual for the favor trees, but their belief in hope alone might have been enough. An entire country of people wishing for the same thing should be enough to make the universe listen, isn't it? And the head housemaid knows this. She made a list. And she knows about the loops at the very end. She always notices. So she knows about witchcraft. Wishcraft about the wish that brought me here. So she'll know. She'll know how to fix it. I just need to ask. Is that so? But didn't you already? It is so. I might be able to break the loop somehow. You know, it might just be that I need to make everyone's wish come true. And then everything will be back to normal. And if I talk to her, she'll know. She'll be able to tell me what to do. If I can just talk to her. But Stardust, you already tried and... <laughs> it's all thanks to you, Luke. Wh what If you didn't push me between to keep going, if you weren't there, I wouldn't have gotten this far. So thank you, Loop. After I talk to her, I'll see you, right? I'll see you in a brand new world. I What do you know that we don't loop? Sure, Stardust. You smile. Loop seems to smile back. But, Stardust, before you go and talk to her, I had a theory while you were gone. A theory? How do I put this? The times when you loop back on your own and not because of your own death. I was thinking the reason why might be linked to your emotional state. Huh? Emotions are often high when you loop back in those moments, aren't they? So maybe you don't loop because you die. But because you feel like there would be no reason to go on, maybe? Something that, to you, feels on the same level of hopelessness as death. On the same level as the world ending. You think about a house exploding in lights. Something like the death of my family members, you mean? <coughs> yes. But wouldn't that fit? Wouldn't that explain it? You can't continue because your party is dead. You can't continue because you killed a sadness in a way that makes them scared of you. You can't continue because the king has beaten you and the kid is about to die. You can't continue because somehow you know this is the end. Maybe that's the case, but... But why would time loop back just because of how you feel? You didn't wish for any of this, did you? And what about the head housemaiden? Why do I always loop back when I talk to her? I don't know yet. I don't know if what happens with the head housemaiden is even related to that. It could be that this is the new loop's natural end or something. But if it is linked to your feelings, does something happen when you see her? That makes you feel like this is the end. Uh. You. 
Oh shit. We looped. Loop size. Hey, a stardust. How can I help you in this wonderful new loop? See you later, stardust. Yeah, what? What? Indeed. <laughs> what? Indeed. What the fuck? So anyway, so anyway, aren't you having fun? Isn't this great? Okay, let's switch to just chatting. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Hold on, let me... Let me get out of this. <laughs> so I hope you had fun or something. We had a lot of different feelings this time around, huh? Jesus Christ. I, I don't even know where to start. Oh, man. Oh, excuse me, hold on. <laughs> what even is fun? Felt that. Felt that. Man. Man. Um. Okay. I feel like... Ah. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I said that was it, but hold on. I don't think that was the end of the act. Uh, maybe we should go back into it for Max Payne. No, no. We'll we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. We'll come back next week. Uh, next week, I guess next week. I don't know. I guess I'll stream next week. But um, do know that next week is the global strike for uh, Palestine um, from the 21st to the 28th. Uh, I'll have up like... I'll probably just have up a lot of information while we play. Um, you know, related to the ceasefire, so that way we can still... be together, but also support the strike, hopefully in a bigger way than not doing anything. Um... I don't know, it's, it's very tough, it's very tough, but... <laughs> hang in there with me, friends, hang in there with me. And... you know... Hang, hang out, hang in there, hang in there, baby. <laughs> it, it, it's only gonna get worse before it gets better, right? It can only get worse before it gets better, so let's do it. Uh, who am I gonna send you guys to today? Let me look. Uh, but as I'm looking, remember that Friday we are doing more uh, playdate console playdate with Sassy Fridays. Um, we'll be continuing more of the game that we played. Last week, lost your marbles, <laughs> and then we'll try something new. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of people online today. I think I'm going to send you guys to Maris the Sea Witch. Uh, she's playing Cult of the Lamb. Probably the new Cult of the Lamb, um... What's the word? DLC? Please have fun. Please enjoy. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Here's your raid message. And I remembered, I remembered this time. <laughs> if you're not a subscriber, you could have been anywhere else on Twitch and you decided to be here with me today. I really appreciate it. Here is your raid message, please. Have a good rest of your week. I hope to see you on Friday. Until then, please take care of yourself. Get some water tonight, get some food, get a good rest. Remember to take a bio break. Remember to stretch. Your body will thank you for the stretch. And please stay healthy. Stay healthy. Wear a mask. Consider staying at home and not going uh, to hang out inside at things. You know, just take care of yourself. And I'll see you on Friday. 
Let's start the raid. Where is my raid button? Oh, I have to hit the online button first. Offline button first. Now is my raid button. There we go. There we go. Bye! Almost. Almost bye. Alright, bye for real now. Bye!